We are medical students at Georgetown University. We are members of a national organization called Doctors for America, a movement of physicians and medical students working together to improve the health of the nation and to ensure that everyone has access to high quality, affordable health care. As a college student, I volunteered at a free clinic in a rural area of Virginia. One of the other volunteers there, Debbie, told me her health insurance story. When she was in her late 40s, Debbie was diagnosed with breast cancer. Luckily, at the time, she was covered by a health insurance policy through her employer, a small business owner. When Debbie's insurance premium started to rise because of the cancer diagnosis, her employer dropped her coverage without telling Debbie. By the time Debbie realized what had happened, the bills had started to pile up and no other insurance plan would cover her due to her pre-existing condition. Now, a few years later, Debbie is thousands of dollars in debt and can't even afford the mammograms necessary to keep track of her post-cancer progress. Thirty-two million more Americans will be insured. The insurance now covers children with pre-existing conditions. Two and a half million young adults through age 26 who can now stay on their parents' health insurance plans. Adults with pre-existing conditions who can now sign up for high-risk plans. Plus, the ACA gets rid of some of the worst insurance abuses. No more insurance company caps on how much they will spend on your health care, and no more dropping coverage the moment anyone gets sick, including Debbie. Affordable Care Act? Check out Doctors for America website's learning library at www.drsforamerica.org. In addition to this, healthcare.gov explains the law and how it will be rolled out. As medical students, we certainly have the brain power to learn about the basics. We hope that this will translate into a national movement of our peers to get out there and educate everyone we know about the Affordable Care Act and why it is a step in the right direction. The Nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office estimates that it will decrease the deficit by over $100 billion in 10 years. A similar bill in Massachusetts, enacted in 2006, has saved even more money than projected. Remember that universal health care already exists in our country, in the emergency room. Taxpayers are already paying billions of dollars, more than any other country in the developed world, to fund health care for the uninsured and underinsured. Simply put, we can't afford not to implement this bill. Fact. Seniors get help affording prescription drugs. Fact. Seniors get annual checkups with no copays. Fact. Medicare Part B premiums are already going down, even faster than expected. The Affordable Care Act is under attack. As medical students who care about our patients and their health, we face a political battle that we feel is not political, rather it is an issue of human rights. Medical students have a powerful voice in the fight for health care reform. We are the future of medicine and we have some of the highest stakes in the outcome of this legislation. That's why we need to be involved now, fighting for our values and our beliefs that medicine can only work if it works for everyone. Luckily, people will listen to us. Medical students around the country are already being asked for their opinions and interviewed by some of the most reputable news outlets in the nation. We have the potential to advocate and educate in a meaningful way. Care personalis, care for the whole person. And I know that the Affordable Care Act is a step in the right direction to enable me in the future to care for patients with that mission in mind.